Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome to the show. It is a solid Monday. A solid Monday, Jordan. A solid Monday to you, Wad Tomato N. Solid Monday to you, Ghost Hunter. Who just subscribed? Oh, hello. Oh, no, that was Ghost. Thank you, Ghost. Subscribe with Tier One. Nice. Who has yeah. not talked yet? Panic bomb. Hello, Come top on. of the morning to you all. Jason, Jason in the is producer's not in the chair. producer's chair. This is Christmas sushi. Um, that's a great question. What is the Jedi? question? When does the new uh, texture trainer drop? Um, when does that drop? Soon. 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 Uh, Dad to, and Mom did not announced. leave us. They Jen is busy, and Jason will be back. Um, he's doing something right now, but he will be back momentarily. Yeah. He's doing something very cool right now. Route the Great, just subscribe with Tier 1. Thank you so much. Route, hello. Welcome back. Pardon me for painting this thing really quick, everyone. I'll just throw back my legs. I'll just throw back my legs and pollute my britches with delight. It's so loud now. Well, huzzah, huzzah. I'll just throw back my legs and pollute my britches with delight. Smithers. So funny. So funny. Joseph, baby Jam, thinking of doing all in all in on 30k Admech when the plastic comes out. I painted my night now. I need an entire army to go with it. Yeah. I'm 30k is Horus Heresy, right? Yeah. Oh. Yes, Gosu. Do it. Do it. Uh, Gosu, did I tell you that I started uh, Alpha Legion? You started Alpha Legion? Mm hmm. What's. Wait a second. I'm confused. Explain to me what Alpha Legion is. Alpha Legion. Contrary to the name, is not actually the first Legion. <laughs> well, it's, that's it's, it's flaw actually number one. It's actually the last. <laughs> What's Alpha Legion? Is it a it's uh, so it is a so there there are like different legions within the 40k universe. Oh, universe, right? okay. Wow. These are like different Space Marine chapters. Yeah. Then I'll have their own Primarch, who's in charge. Right. And all, they all have, like, their own thing, right? Okay. So, like... Um, this is in... Okay. This is in Horus Heresy, though. Yeah. Okay. That's no. where I was getting confused for a second. Okay, I got you now. But, yes, I have a nice Alpha Legion army that I'm currently working on. Yeah. It will be very exciting to... Potentially work on it on stream sometime. Nice. Ghost Hunter says, game delay, can you repaint Cthulhu at work? Does game delay have a Cthulhu? Oh, okay, Ghost Hunter, Alpha Legion is the first of 40k. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The, the first of 40k? What do you mean it's the first of 40k? That's what Ghost Hunter just said. Well, it's not true. Is it? Alpha Legion is the 20th Legion. Baka just subscribed with Prime. Welcome, Baka. Baka Man, everybody's hey. just getting their stream. Welcome in, Baka. I find this stream concerning as I am painting my Iron Warriors. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> I just saw that. I'm painting Cthulhu for the month's challenge. What? Oh, my gosh. I want to paint Cthulhu. You, well, we have one for you to paint. I'll have to ask Jason. I'm sure he would be like, You think yeah. so? Yeah. I'll ask him. If you were like, hey, Jason, you know that big, huge oh, okay, monster that. Makes sense. of a model that you have no interest in painting <laughs> on stream because it's so huge and what? large? What? Well, you've got to make it a video. I mean, we could do that. That's Mine is much do. smaller than the one you have there. Oh, okay. Game that I was thinking of, like, the big the Cthulhu. Bi the one. one. The, the one. Cthulhu. The only. Every month of Cthulhu month. That's right. Baby J, I need an audiobook. Got some credits burning a digital hole in my pocket. JT Money. JT Money? That's JT Money. You're asking me? You need an audiobook? <gasps> oh what kind of God. stuff do you like to listen to, You're JT right, Money? Hunter. Yeah, what, do you, what kind of stuff are you looking for, JT? What does your heart demand? 
Ghost Hunter says I should paint it with Cthulhu the DA100. Maybe I, mean, I that will. That might actually Maybe help. Yeah, I won't. Like, it would 100%, <laughs> it 100% would. No, here's a challenge. You paint Cthulhu with a double zero brush. Nope. That's what you do. <laughs> you know what I would do? I would literally pour paint on the model and paint it with my hands. <laughs> Just use your thumbs instead. <laughs> yeah. It's a solid Monday. Woo. Yes. Yes. It's not quite Sunday. Yep. That is right. It's definitely not a solid Sunday. That's for sure. Uh, so JT Money's thinking sci-fi. Thinking wool part of the silo. Oh, T. Schmidt. Good afternoon. Welcome T. in. T. Schmidt. Hello. JT okay. Money. I, that is, that is wool. definitely. Wool is good. What's I haven't wool? read the book, but the, the show was good. Yeah, I am not a sci-fi guy, so I'll be learning many of these. Um, have you read The Expanse? That's kind of like the go-to. The Expanse is the go-to sci-fi? It's a go-to really good sci-fi show. Now, Jordan, show. here's a question for you. Are you, like, deep into, like, the, the, the story of Star Wars, like the books and all that? No. No? Okay. Are you? Nope. Okay, game delay. I'm going to have to check that out. What was the game delay thing? Oh, the uh, game yeah. delay just said see whips when I'm painting in the April Challenge Discord. Don't spoil it for Jordan. I won't. Yeah, I'm not allowed to look until <gasps> it's all over. Ooh. May, uh, you're not allowed to look. You're right. Well, technically, I can do whatever I want. Books but... are non canon since Disney. Oh, good point. What's up, everybody? Welcome in. It's a solid Sunday. It's, it's we a have Monday. Jordan the... It's not a solid Sunday. Oh my gosh, did I say it's a solid Sunday? <laughs> yeah, oh my did. gosh. Chad, I might have just died just now. Oh. 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 Ooh, Christopher T. Schmidt. You'd be proud of me. I have a great many battle tech sheets with necessary special rules printed in ba that dude. That's the way to play battle tech is laminating those battle sheets, man. It is it's Reusable so it's so sheets, worth man. it. That's what I do, and then I use a... You do not use a dry erase marker. You use a wet erase marker. Yep. Way better. Teachman, I'm glad. I'm very glad. I still... I still have to paint... Decide what my next lance is going to be. What is your, <laughs> your next big painting project? Me? Yeah. What's my dude? I'm I've been in a painting lull. Oh, I forgot. I meant to bring something up, in Jade? for you to look at here today. And I and I didn't. <laughs> Ghost Hunter. If you laminate the Scantron sheets, the machine can't read them. That's a hundred percent true. Yeah, so they don't yep, that's right. Um I'm sorry. Jordan, you're right. I you said you're gonna bring me a, a treasure and presents? Well, yeah, sort of. Oh, here's one from Avian. Question for you, baby J. So Answer. I try OS on the blade of the King of the Abyss from his glowing eyes. Okay. Should I try OSL? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Short answer, yes. Yeah. Yes. Try oh, it. I misheard the question when he read it. Oh, did I say I it thought wrong? you said, so I did. Oh, no, I said, so <laughs> should I. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might have had like peanut butter in my mouth. The answer is, if you were going to ask me, something. should I try to do this thing? My answer is always going to be, yes, you should. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's not always true. If it's painting related, then yes. Yes. Stretch your wings, Avian, and fly away. Fly, fly away. Fly, fly away. Yeah, stretch those wings. That's what I always say. And walk right through that open door. OMG, Adepticon moved to Milwaukee Wait, for 2005? What? This is... Whoa. What? Whoa. Can we get a confirmation of that? I... I Christopher, quick, to. look it up. Gabe! <laughs> God. Gabe's Everybody, gonna, I hope he's I just gonna hate you so much. Speakers. The, oh yeah, Philip just confirmed the Bart Center. What? What? Oh my gosh! That's cool. I guess I'm a little bummed because that 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 uh, hotel's really nice. <laughs> I like that hotel a lot. Very interesting. Milwaukee. 
So, okay, that's further north, the northwest, mm. right? That's that's an interesting move. I know they've been talking about it because the show's gotten so big that they would need to move. And it sounds like they they hit it this I year. I guess so. Yeah. That's weird. It's going to be very different. Gabe's probably really excited about tra trying to figure out how to do that show again for the first time next year. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, man, that's funny. Facebook confirms an hour ago. Okay. Such is life. Wow. What's going on with our... Are we getting weird? I'm getting a little weird electricals. Hey, everyone, is my audio coming through okay? Is our audio coming through okay? We're getting some weird feedback on our... On our end. On our end, yeah. Did you fix it? Nope. But it went away. It just went away. So cool. We're going to leave it like that. Wow, big, big, big changes coming for everybody. Yeah, that's a that's a gigantic change. Like, What's up, Awkwardish? Awkwardish, hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Doing a little something for, for Gabe and Christopher right now, and then we'll get back to... Painting our, your other dude. Our friend... Constantine Valdez. Uh, to go back to your question, uh, Jordan, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to paint next. I think, so I have a couple options here. Um, number one priority, Legions Imperialis. That's, I'm so excited about this. That's that's my number one priority, I've decided. Okay. I think I've I've saw, like put down the um and you like the, the game too, right? I like the game. Yeah. I'll be more encouraged to play the game when I actually get my stuff together and paint it so that's number one now that i have um certain like colors and the idea that i want then yes that's my number one i'm basing them so i have the theme of the base ready to go that's number one number two i am going to basically do a very fast job i would say not a fast job like don't i'm not going to sacrifice quality i'm going to try some different airbrushing techniques on my goblin town models that's number Ooh, two right okay. so i'm going to use a lot of airbrush to like do a lot of the layers kind of like what you do with yeah. um your layers i'm going to do that um and then i've got their scheme down and then i have a set of um terrain pieces that i want to get painted up i've got some really nice terrain set pieces that i'm going to paint up and then i have a Blood Bowl army that I want to finish up. Um, that one's actually relatively close. Now that actually the little tutorial you did with, for eyes when I was that was last week, last oh, Tuesday. That you were here for? Yeah. yeah, last Tuesday. Uh huh. It's like I'm I'm gonna be doing that. Nice. Um, Very cool. Uh, game delay? No, not like Rogue Hobbies models. The Rascal Town models are dope. Those are very cool goblins. Uh, I'm talking a uh, middle or strategy game, Goblin Town. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I have gnomes, not the blood bowl gnomes. I was thinking about getting those. I decided not to, um, Shelby got them. Shelby got them. So I'm going to look at them. I have, I have halflings already for blood bowl. So I like halflings them are rough, bro. Yeah, they are. <laughs> halflings are rough. They are. Um, the models are great. They're not as good, but I have two tree men. Um, but anyway, Oh, Here's one from War Judge. Check this out. Million dollar question monument hobbies. Okay. You wanted to get into miniature painting. You bought a little over 100 figures, plastic and resin, but you don't know where to start. How do you pick or choose the first mini to paint? Should it be a small one, a big one, one with smoother surfaces, one with more accessories, etc.? Asking for a friend and welcome, welcome. That is something I directly deal with. Jordan, how would you like to answer this? <laughs> yeah, Jordan, this? how about you answer this one? Because there's, Just I would answer it probably in like a very, it. I would shut down completely right. and run away. <laughs> so, 
here, I want to scroll up so I can see the question yeah, again. Yeah, I'm gonna read through it in my, here, real let quick. Me, let me do All right, we're gonna my... we're gonna address it. We're gonna we're looking to look that? we're gonna look deep into this question. And Chat, find forgive an me on some questions. We're really this is a big one. This is life changing from War Judge. War Judge. Okay. Million dollar question. You want to get into miniature painting? You bought a little over a hundred figures. Oh my gosh. That's, That's a lot. lot of figures. I've done um, the same thing with zombies. What figures did you get? Are they just like a random like plastic bag full of a bunch of different stuff? Or Oh, here's War Judge again. You're welcome. Yeah, what what kind of War Judge? What are you getting? Yeah, tell, or tell maybe, us a little bit. Or we could probably answer it in a more generic way. And too. Juso 2080, thank you so much for the follow. Yep. Welcome. Um, <laughs> number them and use a D100. Mechanized imposter. I love it. That's great. Um, I think so. There's a couple of different ways you can kind of answer this. The first one, and this would be my general recommendation. Pick one that you think looks cool. Oh. Find something that you're like, that looks dope. I want to see what that looks like painted. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, don't... Yep. Rebby Kara, hello, for one. And two, also said the same thing I did. Yeah, I would... Um, the con is just down the street from where Chuck and I got married. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's um, actually hilarious and awesome. Yeah. Um, I think... Also, if you start with the one you think is the coolest and it doesn't end up being that thing in your mind that you want it to be, don't be afraid to pull a Jordan and reprime it. Yeah, I mean, right? look, if my tendencies are a thing to be believed, <laughs> it is okay to repaint things. I have repainted over tons of things that have made people in this Discord and stream cry hmm. like literally i think gabe cried a little bit i don't know what you're talking about because you reprimed that model <laughs> i don't know what that you was... reprimed you reprimed that model that was you jordan that was 100 percent you yeah honestly like pick a pick out a couple that you're like these are really cool and just start throwing paint on the model don't worry about getting it right G worry about having fun yeah that's a good way to put it yeah, oh my gosh, Warhammer. Oh my. Mantic stuff. Etsy stuff. I have to start painting. Okay, how about this? War Judge, I'll make it even easier for you. Send a photo to the Discord and I will pick out something for you to paint. Good, I good idea. I'll just pick something. I'll be like, hey, this looks cool. You should paint it. All right, you want start to see there. I'll bring these back up right before his <laughs> so that you can see these questions too, Jordan. Uh, let's see here. Do you all make paint water additives? JT Money, I'm not sure I asked the question there. Uh, I'm not familiar with the term paint water additives. Are you talking about like... Like mediums? Mediums to mix into your paint that are not water? <laughs> Way to sweeten the pot, baby J. Yeah, hey, look, I will pick something for you. Also, can you drink the paint water that isn't? No, you drinking can. Is, drinking not is the same thing. Drink paint water. Do not eat the paint. Do not drink the paint. Do not. Do not consume, consume the paint. The paint or anything the paint is a part of or imparted in or adjacent to. Game uh, etc. I feel sorry, terrible sorry, sorry. about my first model. It looks like aluminum foil. <laughs> you guys don't know the half of it. Did you paint aluminum foil? Can we inject the paint? That sounds... Nope. No. Uh, definitely <laughs> not, that's... Jade. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Poop. That, that's, that's a big <laughs> capital N-O. Oh, my gosh. Your name made me laugh. <laughs> Oh man, awkwardish. That's a great idea. Boom. Oh wow. All right. Should we go back up? War judge. Oh. Awkwardish has come up with the with the plan. You're gonna submit this photo. I'm gonna find some models that you have two of. You're gonna paint one now, and then you're gonna paint one for the challenge. December of next year. 
Oh, of this Chuck. year. Sorry, this year. We're, we're, we are in 2024. So December of this 2026, year. 2026, get on that. Yeah. Chuck, I accidentally swished my brush in my coffee the other day. Yes. That is sad on both fronts. Um, It never happened, Chuck. Ah, uh, Baka. Nice to see you. Power red runs in Welcome. my veins. Welcome. Ball pyro red runs in my veins. Runs in my veins. My mother was a space marine. <laughs> my mother was a space marine. Ah, uh, yes. I remember my mother. She was a space marine. <laughs> We're still on my mother. Yeah, Baka, you would no, I, yes, we are still on my mother that has a space marine. You know, look, I look, Chris I am never the loses. King. I am, I, I am the king of beating a joke into the ground. And oh I my god, it. yes, he is. It is one of my many beautiful flaws that is not a flaw in my eyes. But my mother, she was a space marine. <laughs> Baka, you did us good. You did us real good. Baby Jay's learned a lot since I've been gone. He's grown as a man, a beautiful man, right over there. Paint <laughs> right over eyes. here. His mother, salt of the earth, his mother was great, good person she was. My mother was Being a space ground, I start watching Family Guy in accident. PK, I, if you haven't found out, I love Family Guy. It's one of my, one of my favorite shows. The writing on that show is hilarious. You heard, you heard him, you heard him quoting it earlier. <laughs> yeah, I quote it all the time. It's, it's, it's not unhealthy. <laughs> I pulled um, that the other night. He looked at me and said, "Stop it." So, oh, source. So it is Chris. We should test her about <laughs> clipping together the vods to guy. Oh, I gotta go, source. Uh, you're right. Better yet, it'll go on the chalkboard that doesn't exist. But I feel like I have to be a little different from Gabe's whiteboard. So I have a chalkboard. I'm going to get a chalkboard so that we can say, Chris, put it on the chalkboard. How do you feel about that, Jordan? I'm on board. You're on board with that? Yes, sir. I'm trying to Sorry, write that's a great idea though. on this little scroll on this thing. You're trying to... This is... This is why Jordan's here, chat. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him writing little words on the scroll there. Oh, I just heard that in my ear, source. Oh, here's a good question for you. Hmm. Could Jordan quickly walk through he achieved that NMMTMM? I missed parts. Hold on. All right. Could I quickly walk through right. how I achieved... Are you talking about the gold? I think so. Are you talking about the gold? Jordan, that does look spectacular. Why, thank you. Oh, my gosh. You started on this one. I was here last week, or t Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Right. I'm just now realizing that, We've come full circle. The chunk. We have. All right. Jordan, hold my beer. Hold my beer. <laughs> Source. <laughs> You a Trello board. We do have Trello. Uh, yes. In fact, somebody can link you to the Discord right now. Wink, yes. wink, cough, cough, Christopher. I can. Sorry. Let me. Sorry, I was distracted. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Christopher. Bing. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Uh -oh. Christopher. There it is. There you go, War Judge. War Judge. Uh oh. There <laughs> it is. Perfect. Welcome in. Just uh, click on that. My name is Baby J on the Discord. That's right. Just in case you you're curious, um, so when you see me respond to it, you really yeah, like the, the stone. Just the stone, great, is, the great stone great. is awesome. Yeah, it still needs a little bit of a little bit of love, I think. But some yeah, washes like... and some some other color in there, I think, will look really nice. I got to paint the shoulder pad that's in there. Four judges, all good. Uh, 
Who's coming along? I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. So give us a quick rundown of that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. No. Hello, <laughs> you were, brain. You were, you were admiring. You're like, this looks eh, good. I'm really happy with how this is coming along. <laughs> totally forgetting about the thing. Uh, okay, so I kind of want to see if we go over to Jason's side so we can do a punch in. That's so okay. Can... We can see it. Okay. So oh, you're good. Let me grab my, my paintbrush here. Let me get a good side so you can see all of the different various bits of shade. It's actually kind of nice to see all of it at the same time, too. So, they, I started, oh man, can I remember how exactly I started this? Uh, it's a great question. Did you write it down? I never write anything down. <gasps> I'm terrible. It's okay, I don't, I don't either. I'm terrible. I try to take pictures of stages. Anyway, keep going. All right, so here, here's a good way to start it, at least. You want to mix... From a black base coat, I airbrushed a mix of burnt sienna and rich gold over the whole model. Or at least all the areas that are going to be gold. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I washed it in, with brown and red wash. The mix, 50-50 mix of the two. I was there for that part. You were there for I that I can part. confirm. And then you reapply burnt sienna and rich gold over it because it'll be darker. And then from there you layer up to rich gold. And then you use bright gold on top of that. And then you start shading even more. So you're going to be shading with uh, pure burnt sienna mm -hmm. and then or oh no actually uh, you're going to mix with burnt sienna and then burnt sienna plus transparent brown not orange well yeah the mm -hmm. other thing is mm -hmm. keep going keep going I'll say that and this. then transparent brown by itself as a shading is how you get that really deep dark shade back here and they could also go back to last Tuesday's VOD yes. on the YouTube live tab. And rewatch it. And rewatch it. Yep. It was last Tuesday, right? Yeah. I think so. Man, yep. that seems like Forever ages ago. ago. Literal ages. because it was. It's a different age. Ah. An age yes, long lost. Enough. I feel thin. Butter scraped over too much bread. <laughs> Full of a took. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny I used to watch those movies so much that yeah. I could quote almost the entire movie it's a good movie it's I remember good movie. one of my favorite scenes is when um, Mary and Pippin mm -hmm. after Isengard gets flooded out yeah. are sitting on top and they're smoking uh, their pipes and they're eating uh, ham yeah. is it ham? Or salted, salted pork, pork. <laughs> Salted pork. <laughs> That's what it was. You shall not fart. Uh, That's right. Uh, <laughs> salted pork. It looks kind of like him, but it's definitely salted pork. <laughs> That's funny. Malt beer. You're drinking and smoking. It's good. <laughs> so what are you working on now? Jordan, All right. With this? What's going on? So I hope that answers your question. Yes, War Judge. Oh, I think so. it was War Judge, or is it... That was Oso. Oh, oh, so. I believe gotcha. who asked that yeah, question. Yeah. Um, oh, T. Schmidt, what colors are the stone after the gold info, of course? I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I don't really remember. It looks like... I thought you. I thought there was, drab drab, brown. There was drab brown in that. Again, check it's out that It's probably VOD. just drab brown with, like, dry brushed over what the do black. You, what do you think you dry brushed? You... Oh, no. No, no, no. This is drab brown base. Yeah. Dry brushed with, I believe it was caramel ground brown. Yes, and then you did. Then you did something. And else then red. on top of it, I want to say it's like a little bit of khaki. Khaki? Yeah, just a little bit. That's also in that Tuesday vod. I think you did it when I was here. Yeah. Oh, it might be bone. Let me double check this. It baby. might be bone. I apologize for my terrible memory, folks. 
last the the ninth question mark yeah last of the ninth question mark (laughs) one of nine one of nine um, yeah april 9th i dare to upload my plastic in the the whip section of discord war judge do it what happened oh what did you do i'm spilling shorting we're making spills get your life together hey um war judge you should do that accountability that's how we get this done uh t schmidt drab brown is a gorgeous color it is awesome i have decided to use that for a lot of my tree stuff it's so good i do because i I like my trees to look a little bit lighter but not too light so i use drab brown it's so hot today it's a little toasty toast boy this is unacceptable so what are you doing on this next, Jordan? Well, right now I'm trying to clean up my palette that I just made a mess of. Ugh, Jordan. Pardon me, folks. Pardon well, me. Well, Automaton's asking, does Baby J need his paint in a sippy cup? Is that what you need, Jordan? You need a sippy cup? No. Forget about it. <laughs> hey, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> oh, man. Chris and I on stream together? Nah, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> He's right. He needs a sippy oh, cup. We are a mess. I remember when Baby J was an actual baby. He was salt of the earth, that little Baby J. Salt of the earth. He was a good man. He was a good man, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good man, Ma. Uh, Ghost Hunter is correct. Yes, we do not. We do not drink the paint or the paint water. We don't do anything consumable consuming pain we do not make consumable products so don't (laughs) eat them (laughs) incredibly (laughs) oh oh you know what baby j are and i are like um how do i want to put this let me let me come up with a beautiful we like two peas in a pod two peas in a pod Two pieces of bread with some meat in the middle. A, some kind of Italian sandwich, I guess. That's also like, I. sometimes I, I start to lose my mind slowly. Chat, you can see it in live. Slowly? Slowly. No, it's quick. You're right. It's more of like, a, <laughs> it's just more gone. like an avalanche. Uh, the answer to your question, source, is I use Redgrass Games. Right, grass games. Hey, Baca. Hey. Hydration paper. Hey, don't you be. Hey. Meant to consume. Why is there beer in the soap? Hey, don't be doing that, Baca. Get out of here. <laughs> two meatballs and a sub. Oh. <laughs> That's the name. That is the name of our autobiography that we're writing together, two which doesn't make it an autobiography. <laughs> 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 What does it make, Christopher? I don't know. A collective book. Biography? Wow, that's funny. Was... A duography? Oh, here's a good question. Baby J, what ah. are you using to highlight magnesium? Ooh, that's a great question. Silver? Silver? Yeah. Have you tried magnesium with silver? I was actually thinking about doing that on my Legion stuff. Do you want me? I'll do it right now. Uh... <laughs> Mother trucker <laughs> erotica section. Oh my gosh, uh, Baka, that's enough. Hey, take it easy. My mother's in this chat. No, really, his mom's in this chat. I don't, I don't think my mom's in this chat. We would know. <laughs> we would know. She would be me, but louder. <laughs> if you could imagine that chat, I am a product I of my mother. Cannot God imagine that. God bless my mother. God bless, God my, bless mother. my mother. She's a good lady. Salt of the earth, that Liz. She now you guys know my mom's name, Liz. Marine. <laughs> my mother was a space marine, all right? Okay, forget about it. Also was a space marine. <laughs> my mom was not the first space marine, everybody. Surprise. <laughs> hey, Gabe, are you, are you listening to chat? Are you partaking of the Discord? You know, it's funny being on right this now? end and calling out to Gabe because I'm normally in there hearing the call outs, right? It's weird to be on the other side. Okay, Marie. She'd be the only space marine in the chat. I need to deliver this thing to Gabriel. Ah, yes. His mother was the alpha marine, which made her the 20th. 
If your mother was a space marine, then you had <laughs> then you had two dads. See, I that is a probably a good layered joke in 40k law. That Chris Bird does not understand. I have no idea, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Space Marine Sushi. <laughs> Space Marine Sushi. Where's the greaser? The, um... Oh, my goodness. I swear. My mother was the Primarch of the Alpha Marines. <laughs> she was a good lady! Oh, my gosh. Now Baby J's trying to focus on painting. Nice transition, chat. You know, one of these days... One of these days I'm going to narrate um one of the narrate days? like like a national geographic watch as jordan paints this wonderful model why not do it right now and here we are thirty thousand feet below sea level <laughs> life at this depth is i sparse. can't handle it i can't <laughs> handle it chat i can't handle it oh god Watch as Christopher desperately tries to attract a mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. They always, I always remember David Attenborough saying that kind of stuff. Like, because they always try to get like the, like the courting bird dance stuff. So I always remember that, that line. He pays it. <laughs> that would be a fantastic video. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea, T. Schmidt. Watch as Baby J finds the line. Watch as Baby J tries to paint inside the lines. <laughs> and he searches for food for thought. Food for thought. As he paints. <laughs> I'm a goofball. Uh, that's all there is to yep. it, chat. That's true. Well, that's not all there is to you. There's a little bit more. Mm. <laughs> I'll start to narrate all of our shorts of that. And just have like like oh bird sounds in the background and forest sounds. And the next layer is bright ivory. <laughs> Watch as it delicately moves across the model. You guys like how I just had like word salad in my mouth there for a second? The monument factory and its natural. Oh my gosh, Ryan Wallace, that's hilarious. Awkwardish, you're 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 giving me some ideas. Don't uh -oh. give him any ideas, chat. Chat. Why are you giving him chat, ideas? Chat, you don't be doing that right now, all right? Baby J is focusing deep into thought as he paints the model's forehead beautifully. He taps off the little extra bits, and it's wonderful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the one good use of AI where somebody took AI David Attenborough and what? had him narrate Tyranids taking over a planet? No. That's Amazing. Hilarious. Jordan, get painting. What are you doing? What are you this doing? This is a painting stream. All right. Here's magnesium, by the way. Oh. Magnesium. That's actually awesome. I love that color. Now you said you highlight this with silver. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. I love that color. It's such a good color. So good. Magnesium. One of the rarest metals within the Monument Hobbies office. Desperately as Jordan tries to focus on painting, he realizes Can you do me a favor, Chris? that his narration has begun. <laughs> Chris, where I need you to do something for me. Uh, my number one goal is to distract Jordan while he paints. That's, I guess, what my goal is. You will fail. Everybody, you know... Everybody's so happy, you know. I am not happy right now. Monument Christopher needs a villain. <laughs> is it a villain you want? Well, I'll play the part. After all, what is a drama without a villain? Also a great show. Um, what I'm just 
word salad right now, but I appreciate that. I'm Christopher not. is just speaking. That's right. Merely this comes speaking. Out of me. Oh, look at that magnesium color. So good. Look at that chat. Right out of the bottle. It's right, so good. We're going to mix it 50 50. 50 50? Mm hmm. Silver magnesium? <clears throat> yes, sir. Nice. That's what I was, was going to ask you. Like, do you do that as the. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. That's a good color. Reminds me of my mother. Oh. She was a space marine. She was a space marine. My mother was. Which silver? Says Ghost Hunter. Which one are you using? Sil silver. Just straight up silver. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. We got one. It didn't know if it was silver. dark silver or silver. Nope. Just silver. <laughs> That's such a good. Quicksilver? <laughs> Ghost Hunter. No, not Quicksilver. This is a Quicksilver, though. goes on there so good look at that beautiful salt of the earth salt of the earth that blade is right there when is baby j getting back to Iceman Iceman isn't that isn't Iceman over there Yes. Uh oh. I heard some. I heard some dismay in your voice, Jordan. Is Ice Man a little bit more silver to this mixture? Ready three Ti. Just subscribe with one tier. Whoa! Woo! Ready three Ti. Waiting for the Thank notification you. to come in. Here we go. And okay, didn't come through. It's about to. About to say yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the crew. So we're just layering this on the areas of highlight, <clears throat> the outer parts of the blades. Just keep Ryan Wallace, just keep Maverick away from Iceman. He flies too dangerous. Ah, <laughs> uh, now you're just doing silver, right? No? Oh, same mixture? Yeah. Nice. Looks good. That magnesium color is I'm I'm excited to use on my Legion stuff. Oh, it'll be great for that. Yeah. Doing a little bit of edge highlights on the red the edges yeti. of those areas. Oh, where the, Little swirls oh, are. That's what it is. Sorry, Red Yeti. I totally mispronounced your name. Hmm? It was Red Yeti who subscribed with. Oh, one. wow. That's. Sorry. I totally really, botched that. Really, really obvious when you see it. I now. did. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I totally just looked down and I saw the, the picture, so I misread that. Thank you, Red Yeti. You're welcome, Monument. Says Red Yeti to Monument. We don't forgive Christopher for anything. Oh, no, don't. Bury me alive. <laughs> Bury me alive, Chet. Bury me alive. Uh, Ghost Hunter, uh, that's this inappropriate. This is pure silver. That is inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate. But that silver is a good silver. That is looking great. You know, Christopher? Yeah, looking great. Hey, thanks, man. Really appreciate that. But I'm lying! Oh, come on, Just man. Kidding. Just kidding. I could yeah. never lie about that. Only the truth. See what I have to put up with, chat? That was a mixture of... 
a lot of different voices. <laughs> <laughs> Awkwardish. You would not like what I call my <laughs> Ryan Wallace streams. Then Blue Jay oh. really going to town, cleaning the brush in the water tin. Reminds me of Bob Ross smacking around <laughs> the devil. Uh, oh <laughs> Smack the devil out of it. Oh, Bob Some, Ross. Uh, happy little trees. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. That's one of my goals. You know, we do. A, we'll do a Bob Ross funny one. We'll do. Uh, <laughs> Bob Ross impersonation where we just paint like a Sylvaneth tree or something like oh, that. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm gonna, May we tree. ever we can do that. I can go get a perm. Could you imagine what my hair would look like that? Like if I got it froed out. Oh just whoosh. Just dude, <laughs> just just get it. He was great. I do watch Bob Ross every once in a while though. He's awesome. Very relaxing. <sighs> All right, I think <laughs> I might. Time to pursue some brighter, brighter. Need some happy little trees. No mistakes here. We're just gonna put some paint, paint on the palette, paint on the canvas. Getting some white gold. I just got here, but Jason, did you dye your hair? Yeah, Jason went a little bit more And he got hair extensions. And got some extensions, yeah. That's right. Got the big old hair extension. That's right. Where's our bright gold? There it is. I thank Bob Ross and my grandmama for getting me into painting. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Remy, why would you do it? God, I thank, no. I thank, first of all, the good you Lord and Bob Ross oh, and no. my grandmama. She was a good lady, that grandmama. Edith, which was actually my grandmother's name. <laughs> ah, good Edith. Yes, she was a good grandmama. Hey. She was a good lady, all right? Forget Salt about it. Earth. All right, I need to... I need to calm down. You are a little much right now. Awkwardish. That is hilarious. And I will not repeat it because I will not have it live on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I will not have that. Oh, clip. my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Jeremiah, that's uh, stricken uh, from the record. We got there. Happy little mini. No mistakes here. You can always go back. So I'm using a mixture of the... Uh... <laughs> The, the white gold and uh, and bright gold. 50-50 like usual. Nice. You know, painting these happy little trees. Painting happy these little trees. happy little trees. Uh, now we're just hitting, hitting the little, no little edges, here. you know? The edge of things, the the price point of things. You you know, give yourself generally, a little... Generally bringing the a little value bit, a little into happiness. a place where, you know, you're happy with it. A little bit of happiness. Goes a long way. A little bit of kindness goes a long way too. I'm Bob Ross, and I approve this message. I go, Hana. It's Christmas. Uchi's grandma, a good lady. She's a good lady. She's a good lady. She made those gnocchis handmade every morning. She was amazing. Gnocchis. She, gnocchis. She made the, uh, the the bow tie. She was she was a good lady. Handmade those cannolis every morning. Your family Italian? Mine? Mm -hmm. Uh yes, my dad's side. Masucci. Yeah, who the? Well, Huda. I thought your name was Chris Masucci. No, if you say my name here, chat. I know you've all heard this, but if you say my name, my full name, fast, it is my name so if you say christmas in sushi really fast it's saying christopher masucci christmas sushi or not christopher masucci it's christmas sushi see ah now you guys get it if you say christmas in sushi fast it's my name christmas sushi <laughs> got him yes 
He's actually Japanese. <laughs> he's not Italian. He's actually Japanese. <laughs> Which a lot of people do get that that Masucci name. It's it, you, you believe it or not, they don't realize it's Italian, even though it's very Italian. But I do get the Japanese. Like, oh, is that a Japanese last name? No, it's, it's Italian. Masucci. When was the last time you heard someone named Masucci? Hey. <clears throat> Gabagoo. Gabagoo. Bring him the Gabagool. That's that's from the office. <laughs> Uh, you want to know something real funny? What's that? That people in here probably hate me for. What's that? I've never seen an episode of The Office. <gasps> Jordan. That's okay. It's, it's For some people, it's... um, It's... For some people, you have to have that kind of comedy. You got, I love the writing on that show. I think it's hilarious. Um, but I do, I do understand why some people would not like it. Uh, and Ralph the Great, Parks and Rec is better. I would agree with you, actually. I think Parks and Rec has a, got a little bit, is a little bit funnier. And that's how I measure those kinds of shows is by the comedy, I should say, not by the overall arching story, I would say, which is also good. They're both very good. Awkwardish, yeah. It's, um, it, it, you have, it has to be very, it, I can see that. I totally can see it. Christopher, that's that. Can you do me a favor? Uh, first answer, no, absolutely not. Second but what do answer, you want? what do you need? Uh, can you pull up a picture of Constantine Valdor? You're asking me to pull up a picture of Constantine Vidaldor? Definitely don't Google search that. <laughs> but I'll, I'm a, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a warning right now. Don't oh. Google that. <laughs> I, it, it'll probably bring up like some random like semi-truck company or something like that or it could be something horrible <laughs> that's true that's <clears throat> welcome to the internet 2024 uh how do you yes. how do i spell that jordan uh c o n <laughs> actually it could be a k is it a it, k it, chat somebody somebody so, somebody spelled the name out properly for me it's c o n yep s t uh -huh. i n e or the oh, bottom one. I see. But without the E. So go down one. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't. Oh. Constantine. I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. how it's spelled. Okay. Yeah. And then what's his no, last name? Yeah, no, no E. No E. No E. No E. Yeah. Val, Valdor. V A L D. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Constantin. You want me to do this one? Yeah. All right. Model. Be less complicated for me to see. <laughs> Let me help you out here. Hold, chat. Oh, hold. There we go. Hold. Come on. I got to make sure I'm seeing all the things right. Oh, oh my gosh. On, dude. What a website. What? You know what? What a website, man. This website's so cool. Uh, okay. Let me get that for you, Jordan. Go somewhere that's not appropriate. There we go. Perfect. Great. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, okay, so he is wearing black gloves. Oh, black gloves, yeah. Uh huh. Now, which, which are going to be your work up for that, Jordan? The black? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that right now. Let's. Uh, That's something I do struggle with, actually, because I have a lot of black cloaks I need to paint. And I end up, like, doing. Uh, I don't know what I end up doing. Because that's why I ask. We got some paints, Gray? Okay. And we're going to hit the top. You know, 30%, 33% of this glove. I'm going to do the same thing for his fingers down here. Can this you pull good. it, put it up just a touch more? No. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Do you have any other... 
Yeah, I guess we'll have Awkward to do these. I was painting black fabric today and leaned purple with it because the model has a lot of purple accents. That is, that is a good idea. I feel like the paints gray and the like dark purples kind of act as a nice shadow for a lot of different things. I know that. Mm -hmm. I typically in my shadows, I'll underspray with an airbrush. Paints gray. I like doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awkwardish. They are good colors. You're starting with Payne's Gray. Yeah. I'm painting over a little bit of this stuff on the uh, the feathers here just yeah. because I want them to feel the same. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of bright, warm flesh. Uh huh. Bright, warm flesh. Wow. Oh, with Payne's Gray. Yes. Okay, for, <laughs> for a second I'm like... Correct. Whoa, you're just going for it. Was that like a three to one or a one to one? One to one. One to one. Remember, okay. pretty much, unless I specifically call it out, Yeah. every time I mix two colors, I try to mix them 50-50. Okay. And, that's, and, no, and that's good. The reason why I do this is so that it's always a good starting point for yeah. me. It's like, you know, if I'm like, hey, I use these two colors. I don't remember how I mix them. It's like, well, I'll start at 50-50 and then change it to yeah. how you need. Okay. So <clears throat> That makes sense. So I always start 50-50, and then I go, okay, it's too much of this, too little of this. Ah, uh, okay. So... That's how I figure it out. Mm. Um, no, that's that's uh, that's a good way to put it. Just because also if you so that you can remember easily too. Right. Yeah. And if you keep it really consistent, right? It's you never have to worry about you know yeah where to start or what colors to mix or how to mix it. Yep. Because it's always going to be that. Right. Okay. So and then we're gonna grab a bright warm gray. Actually, okay, we're not going to do this. We're going to roll it back. We're going to roll it back, chat. Roll it back, roll it. Roll it back. So what we're doing here, because <clears throat> what can happen if you don't use black in the mix yep. is it'll be too saturated and you'll get too much um, like saturated color. So what will happen is you'll get something that looks kind of like this. What are we rolling back? The mix. The mix. We're rolling back the mix, Baka. Rolling back the mix. So you get some progression kind of like this. Oh, look at that fun palette. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm. Right. Which, that. if you have more space, you can get it pale enough to work. Nice. I see what you're saying. That's but see how out. it's too blue? Yeah. Uh huh. What you can do is you start with a 50 50 mix of Payne's gray and black. Yep, David, keep checking back. New releases coming soon. We got some colors coming out. It's going to be, got, we got a lot of Starts cool stuff there. coming. That's and cool. And then dude. you add the bright warm flush to it. Oh, okay, I see. Nice. And then you get that. Ah, look at that. Mm. Looks so good. David, thank you so much. Y'all do paints too well. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. We, we, all we do our we best. Do. Yep. Yep, keep checking the website. We got a lot coming. Yeah, seriously. All right, the, okay, I see what you're doing here. But you see how this feels, yeah. you know, uh -huh. much more of a progression for black and less of a progression for blue? Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's just as simple as starting from a more desaturated base color yeah <clears throat> so yeah so you can go either this way and keep it more saturated more blue or you can have it be this it'll still be blue but it'll feel more like black yeah uh-huh so i see what you're saying nice moody grays yep
Now, why are you painting this, Jordan? Because it's it? a cool model. <laughs> I guess, yes. That's that literally it. <laughs> See, that? I got to get out of that. I got to get out of that mindset, chat. I always typically paint with an objective. Generally, I do as well. Yeah. It is, it is certainly odd for me to paint something that doesn't have an objective associated with it. Sure, yeah. Um, well, I guess you could say that about anything. I should be more specific. I paint mainly for army stuff. So do I. Yeah, that's true. So it's it's you know it's one of those things where it's like not normal for me to be painting something kind of like this, unless obviously you're doing like a big workup on something. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Which is also an objective, but two totally different things. All right. Now we're gonna find our highlight color in here. T. Schmidt, you're right. I should go dip into the My Work Journeyman Supply. There was a couple that I really liked. Uh, you know, it's funny. I'm... <sighs> Ghost Hunter. I paint mainly for frustration. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny. That's the... Um, Awkward says I, I'm the polar opposite. That's... I, I'm... I paint... Besides, like, what I'm painting, I think it's two different things for me, right? Like, um, I, yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely a good point there, awkwardish. I'm, I'm more of like the difference between what I'm painting and me getting inspired to do the painting. You know, that's why I'm actually, I end up painting a lot of terrain because I just really like painting terrain, right? Because I, I love being able to do earth tones and earth stuff. The thing say. I had to bring in for you was some terrain. Oh, what kind of terrain? Uh, it's Lord of the Rings terrain. Oh, which one? Is it the... Um, is it uh, Dol Gador? It is, actually. I have two boxes of it. Oh, what? Let's hear it for Jordan in the chat. Woo. You want to know how long I've had that stuff? I don't want to know. But you can tell me. <laughs> wow. No, no, you don't get to know now. Chat doesn't get to know either because you. Awkwardish. Yeah, I feel you on that. It's the. Um... Yep. Panic Bomb. Wait, there are games for these things? I think I like paying. It's not more actually playing the games. No, you know what? Going back to um, uh, Noden's dealio here, I think. There is a good point for that, right? A big point that I've I have switched to, right? Mm -hmm. I was a gamer. Um, I was a gamer, and then I went to painting. Yep. At the first start of my journey, I did not like painting that much, but it has slowly swapped because I realized games change. So you put all this energy and time to learning the game, which is awesome. Still do that. Can't wait for AOS four. But when you do that and games change and that's like the main thing you were really digging into, then you feel like, oh my gosh, I wasted so much money on these models. Whereas now, if you're more based on, if you're more based on painting, then you're actually like, oh my gosh, I find this value because I've painted this piece of art and now I get to appreciate this regardless of what the game does. And then the game becomes a byproduct of like, oh my gosh, I can also play a game with these whenever I want to as well. So yes, that is the um, I understand the other side of it, right? Um, so, um, Ghost Hunter, that would be so cool if they had some character on Overlord stuff. The stuff's coming out is cool, but that's the thing. I'm like, okay, you know, Nurgle. I purely bought my Nurgle army uh, for aesthetics. Um, I bought my I bought my Nurgle because. I I wanted to paint them up all gooey and stuff like that. Um, uh, Sappo, Baby J got my delivery today. Thanks for the letter and autograph. You're welcome. Nice. Um, but anyway, going back to it, that's that's what I have started to realize is that I can't rely too much on the games. I feel like, you know, 
That's why I fall back on games like one page rules because one page rules is very simple. Um, it's a very fun game, but uh, because in more model, you know, it's, it's model agnostic, so you can use any models you want. So then you can just play the game if you decide to, but then it's like, oh, I can do this, right? Oh my gosh, not, I was literally just saying that. That's, yeah, you're right. It's, um, I just looked at the chat there. Yes, that is, that is a big appeal of OPR. Now, I can see the argument of like OPR is not, the rules are kind of vanilla. I get it, right? But also, you know, that's a totally different thing. Competitive gameplay is, you know, totally different, I would say. And not to say that you can be competitive with OPR, you totally could. It's more of um, what's your, what's driving you to paint? Is it the game that's driving you to paint and you just don't want gray plastic on the battlefield? Or do you want some paint and then, oh, or do you love painting? And I could just also play a game if I wanted to. I think they all live together in beautiful harmony. They do. David H., your Payne's Gray is great for making bases look like it's nighttime. That's my favorite use of the Moody Gray. OPR, great for casual games. and bring Yes, David, absolutely it is um, to both of those. I love our Payne's Gray. It's um, amazing. It really is fantastic. And OPR is a casual game. It does bring people into the hobby. You throw, you throw seven books of Warhammer stuff to somebody, and they're like, nope, I'm good. But if they're like, oh, I wonder if there's like a little game I could play. OPR is that. Um, yeah, OPR does that very well. But I also see the other side of why people don't really like OPR, right? Um, because it, it, it's it's not because they're coming from AOS or they're coming from 40K and they can't just realize like, oh my gosh, I can just use all my models I want. That's it's OPR is a great way to be able to play the games use the models you want and play a game system. That's actually really, really fun too. So highly recommend. I think for a lot of people, it has to do with like, cause I kind of, Operation, I think if you, yeah, OPR is absolutely. great. And I think that there's, there's a reason for it to exist. Yeah. I would not be interested in playing OPR because I want to play 40 K or I want yeah. to play 30 K. Yeah. You like that. You like that stuff. I want to play the game. Yep that all the stuff is for and that and that could just be me being dumb and being wrong but also that's just my preference right but yeah <clears throat> no and that's yeah that's that's a good way to do it like you you know you just have to try you just have to try things you know but like going back to the original subject of games, right? But when you're painting these things, then you can just buy any model you want. Because I was stuck in the the mood of like, well, I I, I want this model, but I'm not gonna buy it because I'm not gonna use it. Which, yeah. uh, which that's like what I was which getting into. Which is also something you don't have to have a reason to buy a model. Well, that's either, that's right? where I'm at now, right? Yeah. Like I don't like now. I want to buy a great unclean one because I just want to buy it a great. I love and that model it. and yeah. I want to paint it up and it's going to look dope. Not necessarily to fit into an army that scheme. you have. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's, that's what, that's what I'm starting to lean into now. Right. Like there's a 40 K army that I want. That is Bellacor, yeah. Kairos, all the greater demons. And that's it. Just cause I love all the greater demon models. And then you can even take it further. You can go this far. You can go, I'm going to paint it for somebody else. So I don't even have to buy it. I can just enjoy painting it. Yeah. Which is what I did. I stole my buddy's model and I painted it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want to paint this. Yoink. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> but no, it's totally cool to buy models that you don't play games with. Yeah, that's that that one took me a while to to that took me a while. It's a hard one. It really is a hard one to 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 kind of but, you know, arrive like, at, you know? you know. But I also wasn't like enjoying the process of painting, but now I really enjoy the process because I've just uh, you know, I have no I've said this multiple times on our stream, but Monuments Paints really did hook me. Like they made my painting uh journey more enjoyable. So And that's the goal. 
That's what we wanted the whole time. We wanted Christmas sushi to play more games. Play more games, paint more. I needed to paint more. Hey, have a good day. Rev, thank you so much. Bye, Rebby Cara. Awkward. Okay, hopping out yep. to eat your spaghetti. What the heck? Where's my spaghetti? Hey, hopping off to eat spaghetti, Jordan. That's what he's going to do. Ah, she made a good spaghetti. My grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't handle it sometimes. Awkward. That's a good point. Oak. That was also a very good point. The, the, the thing is, like, you know, I always try to encourage my friends to give some a try. And, you know, the painting has brought me a lot of joy and the use of our paints definitely brought me joy just because it also was very easy to, it was very easy to work with and the results were amazing. So yeah, if you get good and, results, it makes it easier. Yeah. That's, that's when you start to get really encouraged, right? Like you're like, Whoa, this is awesome. That's yeah. Uh huh. That's how you get hooked. <laughs> Ghost hunter, my grandmama, she was a good woman. Salt of the earth, that woman. Every day, 5 a.m., she'd get up, and she rolled the dough, and that's what she did. She did it for our family, Ghost Hunter, our family. Good lady. Good lady. <laughs> ah, Christopher. Hey. You, you brought me. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you couldn't, couldn't quite get that one, huh? It's all right. Christopher's the the last resort. The the vanguard is that is that the right that the vanguard is when they like come and wipe with the army or something I don't know what it's called. Huh? Not the last resort. I was trying to think vanguard? of uh, a the. Everybody was busy. I was here. I had some time, and that's why I'm here because I love doing it too. That's why. I was trying to think of a way of like I'm I'm called in especially when I'm somebody needs to annoy Jordan. <laughs> you also just love annoying me. <laughs> Christopher, you want to make awkward it says I want to you're going to make me want to eat pot make pasta. And I don't have time for it this week. Jeez, awkward, you got time to make the pasta. We have got to eat, Jay. <laughs> you got to eat. <laughs> You got hey, hey, forget about it. Make the pasta. What are you doing? You got all this time. Make the pasta. What are you doing? Go Sutter Christopher. It's the reserves. <laughs> That's funny. Awkwardish is gonna make some pasta. I can feel it awkward as you make that pasta. There's nothing like a fresh pasta. Oh my goodness. Woo. English? Hard? No, English is not hard. There's always time for pasta. Gabe! <laughs> I thought I just heard Gabe walking. Didn't work so well. back. Oh, he's shutting the door. Gabe, no! Gabe, no! That's funny. No, Gabe! Not by hand. Pasta and meatballs is Wednesday night. But I really don't have time to make pasta from scratch. Oh, you... Lasagna... Uh, whoa, them whoa. Hot desk. take. Lasagna is just spaghetti cake. Can whoa, you, whoa, can that, you save me from Ladies this and man? gentlemen. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Gabe Fisher. Lasagna is spaghetti cake? Actually? <laughs> is it spaghetti? Now, what it makes spaghetti is. a cake? It kind of is. is. Spaghetti cake? Nah, my mother's rolling in her grave. Baka, welcome what to the chat. You're right. I heard you guys calling me, and I was working on things. Oh. They get, get back to work. I'm sorry. Jeez. We didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did. What do you oh. need? What do you need? I don't even remember. But now, Ghost food. Hunter's got me thinking. What? Now, chat, is lasagna cake? <laughs> when you, I'm not going to be that guy right when now. When you get back to your desk, you, will, you all will be revealed. Oh, did you put it on my desk when I was gone? Face palm yes. spaghetti cake. All right. Bye, oh, chat. panic. Bye, Gabe. Gabe stay. Okay, save panic me bomb. From this I don't man. think it qualifies as cake. No. Now, okay, is lasagna cake? Oh my. Oh my god, lasagna's well, a casserole! It's, it's kind of like one of the first. Well, what makes a casserole then? 
So yeah, Food. Lasagna is a multi-layered sandwich. Oh my gosh, Awkward has got a point. Here's a good. Here's a good question for chat. Is is <gasps> pie cobbler? Is cobbler pie? What's the difference, Christopher? Now, I would like seventeen good reasons why pie is cobbler. I can't. I can't do it. It's not a sandwich. Okay, well, it's not a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I can't do it. Is a cannoli <laughs> dessert hot dog? Oh my goodness! <clears throat> my, my grandmama's rolling in her grave. Wad. Pie has a crust. Panic. And okay. Dust. Panic bomb. Okay. Here's here's a good point. Pie has a crust, <clears throat> and cobbler does not. So is the crust what makes a pie a pie? The crust. Because then, is pie a sandwich? That's not a leap you can make. <laughs> okay, Chad, you got me. I'm just kidding. I just like, I like creating waves. <laughs> Audio waves. <laughs> Sound <laughs> waves. Just cobbler. That's, that's comedy. Now, pie dough makes the pie a pie. Okay. <laughs> Are you writing this all down? No, I'm not. I wish you were. <laughs> Philip, welcome. That's Philip, ladies and gentlemen. The conversation that makes me cat. want a pie. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, but I'm. Yeah, that's about how I feel right now. That's hilarious. Chap, this is what you ordered. This is who I am. Salt of the earth. A product of my grandmama. Write down those good takes. Write them down, write them down. How much pie? Is pie? Oh wow, that's that's a big question. Yeah, I've got like a beautiful mind, Baka. You know, Chris has a conspiracy board on the pie and cover and sandwiches. I've got like all these lines moving together, like all these like red yarn connecting everything. Is pie cobbler? At the end of the day, is it the same thing? That's the grand question. Oh my gosh, we raided! Oh my gosh. Solway Studio TV, welcome Solway in. Studio, hello! Welcome, raiders. We're just Beware talking. Beware of this man over here. Yeah. His name is Christopher Masushi. That's me. And he is... Sushi. That's right. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's right. Woohoo! Hello, raiders! Woohoo! This is my little, like, my doily. Like, woohoo! Hello, waiters! You, you know what? I think... Like I'm waving from the window. Hello! There should be a worldwide rule. <laughs> a worldwide rule. Worldwide that's rule. A, that's a that's a mouth, tongue, tire, whatever I was trying to say. Rule uh huh. That states all pie sold by the slice must cost no more, no less than <laughs> three. pie three point <laughs> one four one five nine three whatever. This and welcome to Jordan Lamb's TED Talk, everybody. <laughs> on, <laughs> on why pie. every pie should cost pie. Christopher is chaos, and we appreciate him. Awkwardish, I appreciate that. And <clears throat> you know what? Also, also, it would just make everything more simple. You would, would never, ever, ever in your life ever question have what to how ask much pie is. How much the pie is? Yeah, it's, it's just a common fact around the world. Three point one four one five nine three, or it's not three. <laughs> It's 3.14159. Ah, I don't remember anything after that. Math. It might be three. That's funny. How many degrees of slice, though? Doesn't matter, Slowway Studios. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All slices. 3.14159. Uh, is lasagna a cake? That really got me. Source, Baby J flexing his pie. That's right. <laughs> Oh, Baka, that there's some good truth in that. Cost what it costs. Hey, you know what? The pie, it costs what it costs. Forget about it. Just buy the pie. What are you doing? Eat the pie. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. A 359 degree slice for 3.14 currency units. This is an idea I can get behind. Yeah. Look, the idea is so... You never ever have to ask how much. That's the main objective of this. The main objective is so I don't ever have to ask anybody how much is that piece of pie. 
<laughs> cheesecake factory would go out of business because cheesecake is pie. Oh, because cheesecake is pie. Oh my gosh, we're getting deep, chat. We're whoa, getting into the science of this. Is cheesecake pie? Whoa, no. Awkwardness says yes. No. Because cheesecake is pie. Cheesecake is typically made with graham cracker crust. So it has a crust. Because but we've established the that content, if it has a crust, it's a pie. The See, contents of notes. the crust <laughs> contain different things. Therefore, they cost different things. Therefore, they hey, are different things. Don't use that tone with me. <laughs> That's, that's <laughs> funny. My father once into a pizza place and asked if she'd be improving that told by the person behind the register about eight slices. Okay. I'll I'm going to be honest with you. Though. That's actually probably more relevant information than the other. <laughs> than anything <laughs> because else. Because uh, well, well, like, stream. if you're like, it's like eight slices, you have a pretty general idea of how big a slice of pizza is. That's right. Because generally, you think on the smaller side, you don't typically think on the bigger side. That's true. So when it's eight huge slices of pizza, you're like, awesome. Fantastic. But, but, if you, if somebody tells you, I want a slice of yeah. an eight, of an eight inch pie. An eight inch pie, okay. Pie being pizza. Yeah. I don't know how big that slice of pizza is. Yeah. I have no conceptual idea in my brain how big a slice of pizza is from an eight inch pie. Or a 14 inch. Or a 16. Or an 18. I got no idea. The other thing too is, <laughs> how, you know, eight you got the eight. It's Chat, pretty, we're you get a deep. good sized slice of pizza. We're getting real deep in here. I will. I'll be a hundred percent honest. All of that just went right over my head <laughs> because I was thinking about every time he said pie, the pizza like a pie. I thought of that key and peel. He's like, we're gonna get another pie. <laughs> that key and peel. <laughs> key and peel. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a good idea. We're gonna get another pie. <laughs> he asked if he could get a large for the same price as a medium if they cut it into eight slices. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too much pie talk. You know what? That's right. Hey, Jordan, get back to painting. What are you doing? I've been trying to paint this whole time, but I know, Christopher! I'm I apologize, chat. I'm distracting. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing us well. <laughs> I'm like trying to paint this, this spear. Now let's go back <laughs> to that spear. That workup of magnesium. Very good. Oh, thank you. Look at that transition, chat. Welcome mm, back, mm, mm, ladies mm, and gentlemen. Mm, Jordan Lamb painting Monument mm, Hobbies mm, 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 mm. Pro Grill. Monument Hobbies Pro Grill, take one. Oh, from from Ocridge, how are you going to paint the crest on the cloak, Jordan? Uh, that one I am actually going to do sort of non-metallic metally. Really? Well, okay. fabric doesn't really reflect in the same way. Ooh, that metal point. does, right? Yeah. Because you don't you don't use like metal fibers, yeah. When you paint, right? Okay. Or when you when you sew a cloak. Uh huh. So the idea is, I'm going to use Mashik's wonderful Awkward. flame on miniatures. Oh. Non metallic gold set. Awkward has good point. Metallic thread exists. Does it? I'm dumb, <laughs> and didn't know that. I didn't realize that either. But it doesn't reflect the same oh, way. Oh, but what if it there's no way it reflects the... the same way? It's got to be a little different. Well, it could be waving in the you know there's yeah. But still, I think it'll still look really good. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You <laughs> <laughs> delay. That's funny. <laughs> Awkward says it doesn't reflect the same way. Interesting. Yeah. I'd have to. I'm. 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 That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you for, for for the follow. Yes. <laughs> okay, really now you have to repaint it. Oh. It's not going to be super reflective either. I'm just going to go with kind of basic. You know, I'll just do it right now. Oh, <gasps> you're going to do it right now? I'm doing it. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Jade, a metallic thread is annoying to run through a machine needle or any needle. I could probably, I can understand that.
Now, what's this color, Jordan? Dark yellow green? This is... Or is it drab brown? Actually, you know what? I'm I'm going to use colors that you guys can 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 use. I'll be a nice guy today. Oh, yeah. These I'll be a nice guy out. today. April 25th. I'm sorry, Dark Flush. Right, right. Baca says, no, 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 promote, promote. Nope. Not. <laughs> I was thinking of like cloth of gold. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Sell the new product, Jordan. So Fine, so. okay. All right, you guys have spoken. You guys have spoken. No complaints that you can't get it yet. No complaints. It's coming. April 25th, chat. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Literally 10 days away. Something that I've never tried is non-metallic metal. You should try it. I think you would have a good time with it. It would be an I interesting so. challenge. I think so. <laughs> Awkwardish was at Adepticon, so that does, that does make sense. If you were at Adepticon, you could have had an opportunity. Correct. Awkwardish, yes, I can relate. It's not, it's one of those skills that I'm I think I'm too I've got to get out of the laziness of being a lazy painter, um, because I I do like our metallics a lot, so I end up just resulting back to our metallics. Well, we have really good metallics, which so. are amazing. Of course, that's a good point. Why we're here to watch your paint, like we can't with paints we. <laughs> Can't, we don't have yet. That's funny. We can't have yet. That's funny. Okay. Oh, look, paint I can't use. My weakest skill is painting. <laughs> Ghost Hunter. Silly. <clears throat> Silly Billy. Here's here's a cool thing though. Once you get your set, and once you get your set, you can come back to this VOD and you can watch this over and over again. Also, and you can listen to me saying your mother's a space marine. Forget about it. All right. Hey. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> hey. Christopher, nice to meet you. Hey. It's a pleasure. Pleasure is all mine. David H. Flame on, on colors look great for darker skin tones. Absolutely. Yeah the the thing about the the uh, the Flame on miniatures set is that it is a lot more versatile than people will expect. Yeah. Um, I have used. Honestly, of all of the new colors, I have probably used uh, the Flame On set the most. It's very versatile. Very versatile. With maybe the exception of the the Adepticon set. I just haven't painted anything that's like super bright, so I haven't had need for a lot of those colors. Maybe that's what you got to paint next. Maybe it is. Although the, the next thing that I'm painting tomorrow will probably not be a good option for those to be honest now chat i don't know if you guys have follow flame on but i do um if you go and look at his uh rook age of sigma rook i think that's what it is the steel rook or something oh yeah it's the limited edition model that they had at uh i would i uh, remember specifically talking to him at the at the show where i'm like dude that's a cool model, and he was like, "I'm gonna paint this model so good." He's like, "I'm gonna paint the heck out I'm of this model." I'm gonna paint the heck out of this model. That's what he said. Yeah, and it's he's he's amazing, but it's also a wonderful human being. Oh my gosh, I really enjoyed so hanging kind. out with with. Yeah, uh, he's with so Nash nice. At the show, but I, I when I first saw that model, I'm like, I can't wait for him to paint this model because this is a cool model. Paint Licker, saying hi from Universal Studios. Okay, bye. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have whoa. so many questions. You, you don't get to just drop that and leave. You do not get to just drop that. Who did that? Paint Licker? How dare you? Oh, David H., that's a good point. You should paint the um, you, the versatility of the set other than M&M. Yeah, you know, that's a good, that's a good point. Yep. 
that, that we show something... I mean, heck, we show it on our, our stream all the time. Like, you know, I was just thinking about, like, I'm going to start using dark yellow green for all of my, like, earth base tones on my bases because yep. I like painting terrain and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll definitely... I, I'm, it saves me a whole step, but yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. You will see it used a lot not for non-metallic yes. metal from 100%. us, for sure. Um, whether we do a whole video on it or not, yeah remains to be seen but um i have i've probably used it on the colors from that set on the stream for not metallics yeah more than i have for metallics um in fact this model which basically has no metallic on it at all the, except for the some leather work up of the small. set is awesome yeah this whole model is painted almost exclusively with those colors wow nice there's so there's some like additional colors in there like uh there's a lot of dark plum that was introduced with those colors um but like yeah those sets like all of this this cloak here is all that set so yeah awkwardness the dark green brown is an excellent base for olive tone skin yep Alright, so next we're going to dark orange brown. Yeah, exactly, Panabong. You you can use skin tones for stuff that's not skin. Yeah. Oh, I do it all the time. Olive flesh Great is highlight color. Um I I do something with this this is such a funny thing, chat. I'll uh I can share this. The um something that I do with all of my models, like when I'm done with them right like when i feel like i've gotten to a point is i will do a dry brush of them the whole thing with olive flesh um because i just like how it shows up on the board like i will olive flesh all of my stuff to give it this like chalky signature kind of look is what i like to call it it's like it get like i don't know it just brings me so much joy um that i just do it on all my models i don't know why i like how it looks makes it look like chalky and animated. So I mean, I can tell you, I mean, it's, it's about getting more contrast, right? Like that's yeah. the whole, the whole benefit of what, what you're doing to it is you're granting more contrast to the miniature doing that. Yeah. I, it's, it kind of like, and it'll get smudgy. I'll admit it. Right. Like sometimes I'll do be a little too heavy on the hand, but I, I don't know. I just like it. I'll have to throw it in the discord and show people what I'm talking about. You totally should. Um, but that's something that brings me a lot of, I don't know. It just brings me a lot of joy when I like cap it off like that and it blends it all together. Not something that's precise. Cause I, I don't really do that edge, like precise highlighting, but that is something I like doing. Yeah. It also it brings out that uh, the three foot rule for me. Like, oh, that looks like even more pronounced three feet away when it's on the table. That's definitely a big thing for, for people to, to think about too, is like focusing on making sure that the model looks good from far away. Yeah, yeah. The, it um, is like a really big one. And, you know, for those really high details. Um... <laughs> oh, Ghost Hunter. I'm not going to say that out loud, but no, I do not. You see? Silly, silly, silly. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Olive flesh, one of my favorite colors. Doing the down and dirty metal is also another favorite thing I like to do. I love doing that workup, and magnesium is going to be in that workup from now on. I'm very interested to uh he dry brushes for nurgle i do very interested to talk to J <laughs> jason tomorrow about the the three body problem oh that show yeah it is uh not to like derail the conversation <laughs> no but that's, that's um, funny it's a it sounds like a uh, heavy show it's there's a lot of weird things happening yeah it's a very weird show I, that, I haven't has heard, anybody I in here watched it? I have literally not heard of it until you mentioned it. 
like I, I somebody I was talking to somebody about it last night and I was like, I don't know how to explain this show. Like it's like uh I have been wa- I've been watching Fallout as well. Um but yeah, it's like uh Songer says yes, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I had the same experience, Songer. Although it put me in a really like weird frame of mind last night when I finished it. <laughs> source. That is funny. It's also a book source. <laughs> that's funny. Right. Yeah, so that's that's my that's my one two on my colors. That's your one two. One, two, three. Caramel. 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 Are you are you a caramel or a caramel guy? It depends on the context of what you're saying. Is what I've learned. Caramel is the candy. Did we actually figure out which one is which? And caramel, caramel is like the the like chocolate sauce. I think. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Really I think know the that's difference. the way it is. Caramel. I think is when you're addressing the color. Pretty sure. Um, yes, it is actually. Which one? Huh? I think caramel is when you're addressing the color. Like what? Like our paint, right? And car caramel is actually like an actual. That's a. That's a city in California. That's different than. It's also Carmel. a city in Indianapolis. So, um, anyway, that is a great color, though. It's a very nice brown. It is a beautiful color. We're using it right now. Caramel. Jordan, what's your next paint project after this? Uh, sh- well, it's it you know, a little bit be a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Okay. So wait for a second. I thought you said a little bit of column B and a little column B. I'm like, no, I didn't hear you said column A. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. All right, what is it? So uh, Shelby and I, at least, we're planning on doing a duo stream tomorrow. Oh. Uh, and we might be doing some regular duo streams on Tuesdays. Wow. Based on you know, some things that we talked about. You know what I'm talking about? Sure. And so one of the cool things that Shelby and I did at uh, Adepticon is we both picked up a fantastic Mindworks miniature. Nice. Uh, by the name of Lost Note. Ah, oh, yes. And I thought it would be really fun if Shelby and I kind of went through that process from start to finish of... On stream? Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So... I think it would be a cool way to to have you guys have a fun kind of like Tuesdays type stream. Yeah. Um, so we're going to try it out tomorrow and see how it goes, I think, is the plan. Um, I need to confirm that everybody's available to do yeah, all Yeah, that's, that's so cool, Jordan. I Yeah, um, that's such a great idea, dude. Yeah. The, the only it. downside is, oh, no, because we'll have Jen's. No, uh, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great, dude. I love that you're so. doing that with Shelby. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love that. I love that, dude. Yeah, that's so great. <laughs> yeah, I love that, You're dude. That's a great idea. I love that. I am not. I am. I, no, dude. I would. I would. No, I wouldn't even want to do something like that. That's crazy. I. But that's such a good. That's that's awesome, dude. I love that for you. I think that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's good. Are you yeah. available to do something like no. that? I. I could potentially move some stuff around in my schedule, I suppose, but. Maybe I could. I don't know. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm I didn't choose I'm you, saying. so. <gasps> See, that's where I was getting at. Christopher, just ask for a co-paint day one of these days, and I'll get up there. Uh, he kind of did, actually. My, <laughs> my didn't didn't quite work out. Um, depends on whether... Yep. So, yes. Jade, so jealous. So jealous. Yes, yeah, Source Hit's also looking... He's, Good. That's not one of these days. I'll I'll get up there on stream and paint for you guys. You did. What are you talking about? I've no, I did not. What I painted you... a while ago. I shouldn't say that. Yes, I did paint my stampa a long time ago. It feels like. Well, that wasn't what I was talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. That was the last time I actually painted on stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
You already did there, chat. The lies that you put into the universe just now? Chat, what Jason, what Jason and Jordan didn't know, but when I was playing Jason <laughs> on the other day and I used the bone color, it was amazing. And that was a little secret, but I didn't say that. Hey, hey, hey. So, anyway, yeah, that's the last time I've, Enough of that. I've painted on stream. So, bone color's awesome. I really like the bone color. <laughs> it's actually an amazing color. I really like that color. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's hopefully the plan Forget for tomorrow. Forget about it. <laughs> Unless something goes bad. wrong. Yeah, cool. I like that. That's, love that's that for you. Do. I love it for you more. Forget about it. It's going to have great and powerful implications that's for cool. Christopher. Um, that's That's awesome. Oh, and you're manually recording that whole thing, by the way. Me? Yeah. That's actually a great idea. I should do that, actually. I literally, as you were saying that, I was thinking about the workup of doing a video of, like, how that would actually look. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, what a great idea, isn't it? Uh, game delay. Thank you. 43% less cute than Shelby. I'll take that. Uh... <laughs> One of these days, I'll get up there on that stage game delay when I'm ready. Bone is on my next when I can form more paint list. It is delightfully awesome. The bone is really good. I really liked it, and I was painting bone. I'm like, oh, I'm going to try bone on bone. And it was great. Love the color. <laughs> it was great. Love great. the color. <laughs> Source, this is true. Next highlight color. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're on the orange brown. Oh, look, my numbers are going up with Ghost Hunter. Christopher is 13% less cute than Shelby. All right, it's going up. It's looking good for me. Well, when Christopher decides what, what he wants to paint, at? we're yes. going to get him on stream. <laughs> no, <didn't. laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me that bone color was good on bone? No way. <laughs> no way. Nah, you forget about it. There's no way that's true. It's in the name. It's in the name, folks. It's in the name. Uh, yes, Panic Bomb. Bone and then noosh that stuff. Yeah, it works really good with getting nooshed on top of. Oh, awkwardish. I appreciate that. Thank you. I finally find you to all be equally adorable and delightful humans. Thank you, awkwardish. <laughs> Better than mine is 0 0.1 less cute. Uh, thank you, Route the Great. I do that because I'm a crazy person and I just, all these personalities are coming through my mind all at once. So I let them out on WJ. No, oh, dude. Baby J is really the like. Honestly, that's this is kind of how the combo ends up happening because you know there's we're so busy and there's so much going on, and I get a little free time and the show must go on. So you end up with me bothering Jordan <laughs> for two hours. It, it's and like not reading questions properly and getting off track and getting distracted. It, it's it's like it's his purpose in life on the stream. To drive me nuts. I'm like a... <laughs> I'm like a dog chasing cars. Ghost Hunter, I'd have a panic attack trying to paint that bird on the cloak. Yes. You said you'd have a panic attack? It's not too bad. You want to just follow the areas where the light is, push it up to where the light is, and then keep the shadows where the bends are darker. Source, can we try? Can we try to give Chris some Capri Sun and see if it works like it did on Shelby? I, I don't know what. How does it affect um, Shelby? Christopher, it's called Capri Sun. No, it's called Carapoli Asiania. Nope, it's called. That's Cap what it's actually called. Nope, it's called Capri Sun. Clapperlil Slantly. Nope. nope. You got no is. idea what you're talking about. It's called Capri Sun. What does it do to Shelby? 
It energizes her. Capri Sun? Or Capria Sun? Cap- Capra Sun. No. The lies. Uh, the power oh. of the Capra Sun. Noted. Pay is on Friday. Totally working on getting that entire paint range. And now I'm trying to dedicate, uh, decide if I want to get expansion paint one fact, or the metallic me. set. Jordan, let's. What do you think? What? Noden's asking. He's trying to, um, or she. I'm trying to decide if I want to get expansion one or the metallic set next. <clears throat> um, do you have the base set already? Yes, Awkwardish. That's th- thank you for saying that. The monumental code, absolutely. Uh, expansion set one is a really wonderful addition to uh, the the base set, and I that's probably what I would recommend. Um, although, if you want metallics for a project, then get the metallic set first. I'm gonna go grab a Capri Sun. Why don't you grab me one too? We'll okay. partake of our Capri Suns in the last twelve minutes of stream. Camper sons. Uh Zazen three or Zazen Zazen sixty nine. This is not freehand. It is painted onto or it's sculpted onto the cloak. Um I am just doing a little bit of gentle highlighting work to get it to look nice and nice and beautiful. That's my goal. Uh we're going up to the next color here. Bright yellow ochre. Where's your capper, son? I see no capper. It's a sad day, chat. There's none left. Are there really none left? Nope, none. That's so funny. <sighs> That's so funny. Zazen highlights look great. Is he's asking if that's freehand? No, that is the part of the model. Jordan is just great at what he does. He's painting that bad boy. Half the cloak would be brown if I was trying to paint that bird. Amen to that. No, I'm still struggling so hard with highlighting. I never know what I should actually hit. Everyone says the topmost parts, but some of the some things the top must kind of just kind of hard to determine. That is true. What's your what's your what's your method of highlighting, Jordan? What do you what do you know what to highlight? What do you not? I know? hit the topmost parts. <laughs> Got <Gotcha, laughs> done. You. That's it. No. Um. What's a good way that I can describe this? Um. Uh, it's a, it's kind of like a visualization thing, right? So, and this might be harder if, if you've never done it before, but um, like we've we've all seen how light hits things. Um, try try and yeah, okay. Well, if we, if we want to do it the super easy way to do it. You do you do the thing where you're like uh, let me grab a model that's uh, up this fork for aim a light at your prime model and take a photo game delay says yeah is as in the lamp trick that's a good point. yeah you can you can do something like this right? Ooh. hello oh gosh how do we do what this? are you doing I'm trying to show this on it's not gonna work because you the amount of light surrounding you right now is going to make that light like boom super oh I, I take it proximity all proximity matters here hold it up just a touch a touch more like to get it in focus yeah 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 nice it's down for the oh it's down yep yep there you go boom there it is okay oh like that and then you can snap a photo too yeah, good point. 
Nice, uh, nice little example, you Christopher. Did there. This ain't gonna work. I'm like, ah, what it's you're trying to do? Right. Is not, I was about to say, like, wow, what you're trying to do is not gonna work. <laughs> Just gotta get the angles right, man. That is true. That's the easiest way to do it, and the more you do it, the more you'll intuitively like pick up on how light hits things. Um, and it will become less scary and complicated. Is this bright yellow ochre? This is a mixture of bright yellow ochre and a little bit of... Caramel or orange brown? Well, uh, orange brown. Orange brown. DD Minis just raided the channel with four viewers. Hey, welcome in. Hello, welcome. Hope you guys had a good stream. You catching us on the tail end, but we've catching got a couple more. Got some more minutes coming up. Yeah, we're just working on painting up uh doing a little non-metallic the... gold. Yeah, like pseudo non-metallic gold. We we want it to feel vaguely shiny, but we don't want it to be like super bright shiny. Right. I said right like that I'm like I'm painting this model. I'm like, "Yep. You got it, Jordan." <laughs> <laughs> We got a What's the matter with you, Gabe? You mocking me? From what? Laughing? Huh? No, I was doing a Peter Griffin. That was horrible. Gabe, come back. Just got mad at by Gabe. Yeah, Gabe walked off. I have to share an office with Gabe. Making fun of the Gabe. And I get to share an office with Gabe. I don't have to. I actually love having an office with Gabe. I get to throw things at him. Just to keep him on his toes. How often do you throw things at Gabe? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> I don't know what you're talking about. That's... I don't know what you're talking about. Jason. Hi! I don't know what you're talking about. There's a thing. We don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-oh. Hello. Welcome in. I hope you've had a wonderful day. My day. Has been wonderful. Has Such it? Such a wonderful day. Why is it so good? Uh, because I get to spend it with you guys. <sighs> he had that one ready, right? That seems Look fair. That. <laughs> right, that seems Look at fair. that! What a nice guy. I have that one loaded up in my hip pocket. Hello, chat. Hello, so hasn't chat. Any advice for painting smooth versus rough? NMM, Jordan. Well. Rough NNM is going to be <laughs> less shiny than smooth. Um, anytime you have a surface that is less smooth, it will be less shiny than, oh. or less reflective than, a, than the smooth surface will be. Good point. So the reason why I'm not going to make this as shiny is because it's, it's all thread, right? So I don't want it to feel like metal. It's also why I'm not using metallic paint on it. Oh, hello, Wad. You love the song, Just Now Just Need a Dance? That was kind of like a, a big, long, sweeping, slow dance kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Or, I mean, I guess you could do like a Fred Astaire, you know. Singing in the rain. Bro, Polo just subscribed to one. Except it, would, it wasn't really fast enough for that, so you can't like dance around with a top hat. Also, do we do we really sing to that song? Is that a thing we should do? Sing to what song? Singing you in sing the rain? pretty much to every song. What are you talking about? Jeez. <laughs> Dance. <clears throat> Dance is uh, is what I meant to say. If you take advice from Jennifer, you dance to everything. We were in Best Buy yesterday, and I turned around, and she's dancing to what is quite possibly some of the worst music I've ever heard in my life. What was the song? And I go, there's, there's no dancing. And she's dancing in Best Buy. <laughs> this, is, this is my life, chat. New Signature Series boxes in stock, April 25th. April 25th. It's coming up real soon. DD Minis, what's happening? Yes. Ten days. Thank you for, thank you for the raid, DD Minis. Yes, Appreciate thank it. you so you much. Have a good night. Is this DD Builds? No. DD Minis. Is it DD Minis? DD Minis. I'm wondering if DD Builds changed his name. If so, DD is local. I don't know. But this may not be the same DD. The Lord Commander can dance whatever she wants. That's what she keeps telling me. She's like, I'm she in danced. charge. Cool. We went to we went out to a restaurant for lunch 
because we were out shopping. We had to buy like towels and stuff for the house. So we were buying towels and house things. And there was a place uh, over in Scottsdale we went for lunch and she danced during lunch. The really bad music in the, the restaurant. <laughs> she just kind of dances when she wants to. What's so. appropriately danceable music for you? Phoenix Merch, none. You don't dance. Dancing is <laughs> dancing is against the law. <laughs> dancing, it's written. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Jason, did you get your old man nap in? Well, number one, I'm not an old man, and number two, I don't nap. So shame on you, Phoenix. Sleep when you're dead, Phoenix. Sleep when you're dead. You know what? If people had to hang out around here with me, they would change their tune. <laughs> they would change their tune. Thoughts I may on not be the job. first one in the building. That's generally Carter. But I'm usually here very early. Yep. And I'm always the last one in the building. Unless there's something strange going on. <laughs> like I'm out of town or sick. So that's Isn't question. that amazing, Source? She painted that latest Gabo of hers with yeah. like the, the C motif on it. Oh, she killed it. It's pretty good. It's like 99.9% .9 her signature series set, too. It's fantastic. She was sending me updates as she was painting. Great, many. <clears throat> was glad to hear she had a great time at uh, 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 Salute this last weekend. Oh, was that this last weekend? Yeah. Excellent. Spawn Excellent. Maximus, what's going on? The first on Polo Slapjack. Signature Series is just six shades of purple. It's That's like Kenny. Kenny was the first artist I approached with a Signature Series, and he never could pick any colors, and his last choice was like six shades of gray. Hmm. I was like, no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh, Jason, Jason. Ah. Guess what? What I do? You didn't do anything. Okay, what'd you do? Guess what I did? What'd you do? I watched... You painted a model with true metallics, and now you're painting non-metallics. Sort of. That's what you did. I mean, actually, yes. But What'd you watch? I watched the three-body problem. Oh, God. This you... is where Jordan says he liked it, and I fire him. I... No, Jordan's been giving some... He sounds pretty bad. Some hot takes. I Okay. Not bad, but like heavy or something? Obviously, I I've, I've, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's super heavy. The way, the, the way that they wrote the show, and the way that it's delivered is like, ugh. It's kind of kind of rough. Um, there's some emotional distress that happens during the duration of that show. Um, that story is just really rough around the edges, and, and I don't know why. I'm being very very what is it pedantic? I'm being very uh, um, I'm being a I think, butthead. I think pedantic is when I review, not wrong. but I think, I think you know it's being lauded as one of the best hard sci-fi novels of all time, and it is not. It's garbage. I would agree that it is not. The like it is not hard sci-fi. The premise is rotten. Hey, here are aliens that live on a planet that's been torn in half, and they can make themselves lose all their liquid to become freeze-dried. So they actually Spawn they focus awesome. a lot less on that. That's like it, it is because it's stupid. Yeah, they they do. It's a thing that is part of the like you. They talk. They they don't talk about it, but they show it. Um, but it is like not part of the re like. It's not part of the show. It is part of the show. It's hard to explain. The show is very weird. You just got both Ninjons and Vince's paint sets with Noosh and brush soap. Awesome. Thank you for That's giving great. us a shot, and glad you're liking it. The sliced ship screen was the best. I don't know oh, that was crazy. <laughs> They used nanofibers to split a ship and yeah, the technique that people call slap chop or you know zenithal priming with glazing or overpainting, underpainting, pre shading, pre highlighting, whatever you want to call it. There's a million different terms for it. Grisale is an old term for underpainting for mostly flesh and tones like that. But you know those things are all great ways to get very well. Grisale notwithstanding, because Grisale was not a myth, a method to paint things faster. It was a method to recreate colors that were not available in raw pigment at the time. So the, uh, the, the Slap Chop stuff, as much as I hate the name, it actually gives you a method to put, like, like someone said, table-ready quality stuff on, on the battlefield quick. I have no problem with that at all. 
speed paints, contrast paints, things like that. I think there are great ways to get people into painting and, and showing them a level of confidence in their models that usually in, in years past would take you a lot longer to get to. And, you know, more power to it. I think that's great. Um, I think that it also comes with a caveat that it produces a lot of very bad habits if that's the first way you learn to paint. And a lot of people have taken it to heart to say this is, you know, this is, you know, the way to paint models. And for some people, maybe that is the only way you'll paint, and that's fine. Don't ever feel bad about it. Um, but be very careful because it teaches a lot of bad habits for application of color and expectations for color that do not translate well when you start to blend and, and truly glaze and layer and all of that. So, but I, I, everybody can get over it. It's not like it's going to, you know, turn you into a bad person. But the comment that Zazen said, not sure it will turn you into a better painter. I think it, it, it can turn you, it depends on how you use it, right? Um, it's, it's like, will the microwave make you a better chef? No. But the microwave can teach you things about cooking that can translate better into how you prepare your meals and things like that, right? So there's all sorts of shortcuts, and, and that's just one of them. You know, uh, Jordan and I will use dry brushing on, on display models. It, it's not that it's, it's taboo. It's just that you have to understand when to use the proper tool to get the proper result. And as long as you pay attention to that, then learning from any direction can help you a lot. There's a cat in the comfy chair. Hello. And it's an old cat. Hello, that yeah, old Gang, cat. Gamad Ile I said, I started painting with Slapchop. Now I'm an attorney for drug lords. See, so his story is much <laughs> different than the other people. It's a gateway. <laughs> It's a gateway drug? for him. Slap chop was a gateway to to working for drugs. There you go. See, we've done it. But yeah, never feel ashamed of any way you paint. Never think that any form of painting is too beginner. Don't let anybody on the internet, you know, say, "Oh, you should be, you know, paint like a real person." You know, that's all garbage. Elitism. The, the yeah, exactly. The journey is yours. Whatever makes you feel like you've got good color on a model and you're happy with it is the right way to paint. And there's always growth potential from every style of painting that you're doing. So never think you're log jammed. Sometimes it's just needing to kind of clear the mechanism, find something like a, a stream or a YouTube video that really kind of pushes you in a new direction, you know, uh, influenced by pictures on the internet all the time that are like, oh, how can I make that happen? Do what works best for you, Awkwardish. Exactly. Fallout over three body. I'm not oh, happy yeah. with any entertainment that Hollywood is really putting out lately. I, I like Dune Part 2. Um, but even it had some question marks behind choices they made. I get it, but whatever. I haven't, haven't really liked much of what I've been finding. I tried to watch Ahsoka. It's pretty garbage. <laughs> I didn't even try. Um, I, it doesn't come from a world of Star Wars that I know. Yeah. So it's hard for me to really get behind it. But I really... I watched the whole... Uh, is it only for one season? I think so. I, I watched the whole first season. And, uh, you know, it, it has some standout parts and stuff like that. The acting's horrible. The, the, the fighting with the lightsabers, the, the choreography, it... Man, it felt bad. Yeah. It really felt bad. Did it? Ugh. It felt really bad. It felt like so, like... Did you hire geriatric actors that couldn't move? Or did you could not afford like body doubles or stunt people to work in it? It was so slow. I feel like they're and trying cumbersome that the lightsabers felt like they weighed a million pounds. It was cool in some aspects where they really tried to make the lightsaber stuff feel like Bushido Samurai, like lining up and per getting your stance and choosing your stance versus your yeah. opponent. That was noticeable, and I thought that was really cool mm -hmm. because there were some times where someone would start with a lightsaber raised and their opponent would pick a different stance, and then they would change, change to a yeah. downward stroke, and the opponent would change. And I thought that was really cool. But then when they engaged, it was horrible. It was bad. Yeah. It was horrible. So It's like the old Star Wars where it's like they had the – they're almost trying to copy mm -hmm. like – the bad choreography from the original movies to make it like canon. They're like, oh well, this is how it's supposed to be done. It's like we fight <laughs> slow. So. Well, even the even the the lightsaber work in the original trilogy was better. Yeah, by a, a I haven't seen the Ahsoka, so I haven't seen Ahsoka, so I'm not sure. But you I started wonder... watching Rebels before Ahsoka. Is that where it goes in the timeline? Only it's... murders in the building was a recent show I've seen that's top notch. Is that the murders? one with uh, um... uh, comedians? Yes, uh, Martin Short. Martin Short and Steve. Uh, we'll see. Steve Carell? No, no. No. Let's 
see. What's the guy? Would you love to from... see a hard R Star Wars? Steve I don't Buscemi? Know even needs that, right? I don't think Ahsoka Star Wars is poorly needs acted and has a terrible script. There's no saving it. Is, uh, Steve Martin, yeah. Is it is Steve Martin. yeah? Steve Martin. I, I don't know. I don't know the story, so I don't know if the if the script is is uh, you know fits with the Star Wars story. Like I said, there were some cool things in it. Um, I mean, they're telling a new story. That's all. Brand it felt new very weird to me that the whole thing and these are spoilers, right? That there's oh, the God. the general blue skin. Oh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn, and he's supposed to be a big baddie, right? Yeah, and. He, he's a big baddie that's hiding somewhere in, in the galaxy mm. or in another galaxy that got there somehow and nobody knows where he is except for these this one group of people. So he's not really hiding. I don't know his story. I would need more. There were So he is he is extended, extended universe, meaning he went non-canon for a long time. So there's a trilogy of books oh, okay. on Admiral Thrawn. Okay. From when he was serving the Empire, basically at the same time. I like, heard he was Luke. a real badass. And he's supposed to be like the the most brilliant mind the em- Empire had okay. in terms of tacticians, this understanding of planets. Darth Ar- Vader too, this right? is the time of Darth Vader. Okay. So he, he, Thrawn figured out who Darth Vader was. So he knew the whole time that Anakin Skywalker was Darth Vader. Like figured out by himself. Okay. Like one of two people, I think, in extended universe canon that figured out. So he was very beloved by the community. And obviously when Disney bought Star Wars, they were like, hey, all the books, don't they're not real. You know, non-canon. Yeah. And so there's a lot of back. Oh, is he not supposed to be human, Phoenix? He's no, not he's... human. He's the, he's like the only non-human. The Empire was very obviously. Yeah, they're very humans like, only, yeah. and especially in officers. Oh, okay, but like mostly, like if you're in the Empire, you're a human. And right. so Thrawn was the exception because he was so smart and so like diabolical in the way that he thought. He impressed the Emperor in person, yeah. and so the Emperor's like, "You're going to be one of my generals, basically, or admirals." Yeah. Uh, he got cut from canon, and then in Rebels they brought him back in canon, like it was the kids show. To see that whole story, like you space, have to know so much backstory for Thrawn to have any impact. Whales, <laughs> stormtrooper zombies, and it just felt like they were throwing the kitchen sink at you to try to make Star Wars something it isn't. Yeah, I was like, I, I mean, that's all cool, I guess. Yeah, but he, I didn't yeah, get it. it's um, a lot of backstory that they didn't like, explain a lot very of the people well. that are directing and and writing the shows all know all of this backstory for Star Wars. I really like... And then they just try to bring it in in a way that yeah. could introduce them, but there's with Thrawn, you almost like... There was one really cool eh, character in there hard. that was the, the older dude who was a, a rebel Jedi. Not rebel, wrong term. Uh, oh, gray Jedi? A mercenary Jedi, mm. right? I he had broken show. off after the... The, the purging? The pur- well, no, I guess so. Maybe he was a child back then or whatever. Mm-hmm. Jade, yeah. have a good night. Yeah, Bye, Jade. The and all that, so. Death Troopers was a you, good You know what really is, is a bummer about that, too? Is that the actor passed away. That guy did? Yeah. Oh, what a bummer. Who played Thrawn? Yeah. Oh, the guy who played the Jedi. Sorry. The Jedi guy. Yeah, the, oh, the, the like, the mercenary Jedi guy. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Because I agree with you, he was the best part of that show. That yeah. character was literally the best part of that show. I thought, I thought he was really good. They didn't really dive into him enough. He, he, but the way they set him up and the way yeah, his, he, the mysticism around him is really good. The, well, and the, the way he was, he he was very gray. He wasn't just ready to be evil. He was ready to honor his word, and you know he had respect for Ahsoka and you know that whole thing. He wasn't ready to just you know write it in and be bad guy. And I thought that was cool. But you know maybe there's more of that coming. But I don't know. It, well, obviously not with that character or with that actor. Yeah, Ray Stevenson is that who he was? Yeah, yeah. Ray Stevenson, mm. Bayan Skull or Bayan Skull? Balin Skull. Balin. Yeah, I think it was Balin. Balin. Yeah, Balin oh, yeah, Skull. Yeah, yeah. Solway says Balin Skull. I thought his I thought his character was really good. Thrawn looks like a moron throughout Ahsoka, and every time his plan fails, the writers just go, "I meant for it to fail." <laughs> oh, it's like what a terrible way to write characters. I heard he doesn't look like Thrawn is supposed to look, but Thrawn, I mean that, that doesn't, that's that, that, lost that, on me because I don't know. He's just supposed to be skinnier. He's like thinner and younger and, and skinnier and taller. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got like it. it's like it's I mean, more of like it's a it's he didn't live at drawn in cheeks. Yeah. Well, well I mean, he's got like a chiseled, perfectly man, you know, jaw. Yeah, like you yeah, can't. Yeah. You, how do you do that? And that's hard like, to find that actor. Yeah. That can yeah. Also act well. That exactly. <laughs> I'd rather them have a better <laughs> actor in the role. Model. Or yeah, exactly. Like just that. instead of just hot guy, right. hot blue guy. 
Hot blue, blue guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. Where are all the hot blue guys? <laughs> Where are they? Hot blue guys. Dang it. Every now and then I'm at a bar <laughs> and I see a hot blue guy and I'm like, I've had too much to drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, it's time the, to go uh, home as soon as I start seeing hot blue guys. I don't drink. So okay. that never happens. <laughs> uh, there's been a rumbling of actors to replace him, including names such as Russell Crowe, Too Old. No. And Gerard Butler. Uh, maybe. Uh, well, I don't know. But... The they're both old. They're both old and, old and out of shape now. Ron was the voice actor. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. that you know I, didn't know, I can actually. appreciate that. I haven't watched Rebels so or Ahsoka now, so I had no clue. So that's cool. You loved the evil blonde chick, which the the, the platinum blonde chick. W- what are we talking about? The <laughs> the the Padawan to the old guy. That one. I think so. She had like white hair, right? Yeah, it was like, like she was like a towhead. Holy Bindo, I know that name. Bindo. Mara Jade. Is I, so agree, I agree that Andor will be cool. You know, I think are they doing another season? Andor was. Are they doing? Slow burn, but it's good. Yeah. I haven't watched Andor either, but I've heard that's very good. Andor is very it's good. good. It, it it lacks a lot of uh, action as progression. It, is, it's a story story. So and I like that. I prefer that better. Story story yeah. doesn't have a lot of, you know, like neat whiz bang pow lasers. No, There's I don't. No, I don't like that. No Jedi lightsaber nonsense in it. No space wizards. It's just humans doing human things and trying to get by under the the uh thumb of the, the empire. empire yeah right and and it has a lot of really neat stuff the breaking out of the jail part i think was very big everybody you know no spoilers but it was good i it's definitely worth watching yeah i watched the first episode and i was like oh this is good and then i was supposed to watch it with a friend every week and but then it, our schedules just didn't line up so Andor. i was like well i'll wait for him and it's been like three years now and so yeah it's super, I probably should super just sit, worth I should watching. Just sit down and watch it so always exactly there was a little bit of chaff that you were like why are we even why is this a thing do you like terrorism you'll love andor perfect <laughs> my cup of tea that sounds like an empire <laughs> sympathizer yeah right exactly there. Andor's world feels more real and lived in. Yes, I think that's the thing, is it doesn't just focus on space wizards and lasers. It has life in yep. it. Which, yeah. you know, is funny because in the 40K world, for us in the miniatures into things, right? In the 40K world... It's not world, the custodians, it's the, the hive cities. A lot of what really brings that world to life is stories in hive cities. Mm-hmm. Is stories of, like, um, you know, Gaunt's Ghosts, where the the Imperial Guardsmen have characters that see this death and destruction and maelstrom around them, and, mm-hmm. you know, most of them don't live very long, and, yeah. you know, the situations they're in don't feel superhuman necessarily they feel more feels like holy in. crap i would not want to be there yeah you know whereas when you talk space marine stuff it's fun you know bolter porn is fun <laughs> but at the end of the day it's like yeah it's still superman yeah right? yep it's still just big guy that you can't put yourself in the shoes of baka's like i mean do you like freedom fighters <laughs> then you'll love it uh, good good back ah uh, i see i see how you are rogue one was good yeah well rogue i mean that's good, the outgrowth yeah. of of andor Right. Yeah, yeah. Andor is a prequel. Obviously, it has to yes. be because Rogue One. They all die. Spoilers. It's about how <laughs> he. It's about how Cassian Andor becomes part of that whole thing. Gotcha. Because he doesn't start as a rebel. He starts Jordan, he's just a, a, like a a mercenary uh, guy selling product. He's a fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Works with fences. What color is that, Jordan? This is bold pyro red on top of dark flesh. Oh, nice. Everyone sucks except Tao. Ryan Wallace mm. likes fish. I like that color. Those co- space commies. <laughs> well, I think that, yeah, I think I'm one kidding. thing to take away is it's, it's, it's done in that way overboard. Oh, yeah, yeah of You know, everybody's killing everybody, so who's the good guy? Because I don't think Warhammer 40K has a good guy. That's, all, that's the whole thing. No one's a good guy. Yeah, nobody's supposed to be a good guy in that. But the struggles themselves have a... Because I've read, you know, so many of the books, and in a lot of the books, the the bad guys, the chaos heretics and stuff, you can actually empathize with yeah. their plight and why things happen. That's the whole like uh, uh, Death Guard story, right? Like, I can that, understand like, how oh, they got they here. Got tricked, yeah. <laughs> you know, they did not want yeah. to do that. Um, so you know, so. it does have a good guy. It's Nurgle. Yes. Baka, you should stop now. You should stop now. Yeah, first the terrorism comment, now Nurgle. Yeah. Thrawn's face was similar hue to Tau. That kind of grayish blue. Yeah. yeah. Tau are the UN NATO. They even have blue heads. <laughs> they even have the blue heads. Yeah. That's the blue funny. helmets. <sighs> How you doing, Jordan? I'm doing good. 
It's quitting Good. time. It's oh, quitting time. Oh, is it really? It's 4, 4, 6, 4, 20, why do you think I'm yeah. here? I'm only here after 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I would love to just stop working <laughs> and come hang out every yeah, day, but I could just uh, sit in the chair. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, thank you both Jason and that old cat, Mr. Philip himself. Flip. 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 Flip himself. Hildo. Joining us. I told him that today. Oh of course gosh. he's got to use it. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're going to head on out. We're going to put some links up in chat for you guys. Thank you so much again for being here with us today. Uh, don't forget, we stream Monday through w Friday. I almost said Wednesday. <laughs> Monday through Wednesday. <laughs> Monday through Wednesday only. Monday through <laughs> Wednesday, 2 to 4, and then Thursday and Friday from 2 to 4. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, little... Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Mountain Time. That's our time here in Arizona. If you're curious, just look it up. Arizona time. It's Mountain Standard Time. Jordan. MST. I, you know, I I didn't say it because I was like, I'm I'm concerned that I would be wrong. It's Mountain Standard. But, and it was correct. Trust your, trust your guy. Just look time. up whatever time it is in Phoenix, Arizona. What he said. Because yeah. <laughs> we're weirdos and don't do daylight. It's 417 here. We are weird. Look at your clock. And do the math. Yeah, do the math. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so go ahead. If you guys want to pick up uh, paints that you've been seeing here on stream, uh, go ahead and check out uh, monumenthobbies.com. we got a link up there for you. Buy all these wonderful paints and paint brushes that we've been using on stream. Happy trees, um, no mistakes. Happy trees, no mistakes. Happy no trees. Um, and Christopher then, Wilkins, did you just show up? Just pop in and we're quick. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Bye, Christopher. We do this two hours a day, five days a week, though, so there's plenty of times to come back and you join will see in us and again. have some fun. We'll see you tomorrow. We definitely yes. appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Stick around. We're going to do a raid. Yep. Chris is going to find somebody really cool to go raid. Yep. If you're on YouTube, you should come over to Twitch so you can join in on the raid. Have some more hobby goodness on into your evening. And we will look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. All right. Goodbye, See you everyone. later, everybody. This is disgusting. You can heal, you can heal. Yeah, I got it. Sudden. I'm on Wonderlust. Big damage over me? I'm out, I'm out. I've got two kinds of wet in my pants.